Hi guys, so today I want to talk about something that I just recently discovered, but I thought it was so important to share with everyone else that I'm making this video. Maybe before I'm even 100% ready to. I mean, there could be never ending research on this, but this is the only information I've been able to find within like 48 hours or maybe 72 hours. I don't know. It's been a few days <laughs> and nothing's really coming up on the Google search. So this is all I have for now, but if I learn more eventually, I will definitely make an updated version of this. So I don't really know what else to call this. I don't know what the name of it is called because I was introduced to this through an artist called Curly and she is a very spiritual person and I look up to her so much because she's, she has so much wisdom and she's so connected with nature and I just, I love her. <laughs> she's Estonian, so um, she was told this information in Estonian, and so, so she tried to translate it but the picture that she was showing and I also found a little more information on the only thing that came up on the Google search so I'm just gonna add this all together I'm gonna like insert a picture and this picture basically shows you in a visual form what the different stages of enlightenment the first stage is being a victim the next one is being a hero a winner, and then like enlightenment, the highest you can go. Playing the victim happens when you can only see one side of the coin. Every situation in life has three perspectives, the good, the bad, and the in-between. The greatest evolution of consciousness is when we can look at all three sides without getting stuck. Every situation in life is an opportunity to look within yourself and heal your past wounds and to stop manifesting more wounded situations. As we consciously create our lives, we realize there is no true victims. We have to stop the blame game and take responsibility for everything we are creating. We cannot hold others responsible for wrongdoings because we have to realize the universe doesn't make mistakes. What we see is only one side of the coin. On some level, we all need to have been a victim, to have compassion for those that are still stuck in the game. Every life experience is manifested based on our karma, our past actions or our past lives. This is what causes similar situations, relationships, and, and outcomes. Eventually, the individual will be conscious enough to choose a different option. When we become conscious enough, we take responsibilities for our past actions or karma. And we do our best to change, to be more compassionate and loving to the world. Every soul on earth has come to heal. This is why humans create injustice, wars, fighting, violence, abuse, mental and emotional trauma. The goal is to experience profound healing and unconditional love. There is no accident. The destruction we see is a reflection of humanity's level of consciousness. When everybody owns up to their responsibility, there will be greater sensitivity and awareness brought to the world and harmful actions will cease to exist. Any harmful actions done onto others is also done onto ourselves. Karma. The desire to hurt another will subside on its own because of karma. So now I'm going to go into that picture a little more and kind of explain each part so you understand a little more because that was kind of an overview of all the different levels and what you're starting out as and what you want to end up as. It didn't really talk about the middle part too much. The victim. When you are a victim, you have no growth. You cannot manifest anything. You can be a victim if you are a savior or a controller. A savior will help others at the expense of their own health and a controller will try to control others. So the next one is hero. And when you're a hero, you can be a motivator or you can be an analyzer, but a motivator will motivate others to do better rather than trying to help them at the expense of their own health. They'll just motivate them and that won't affect your own health. They can also analyze. They can analyze the situation, see if it's worth using their energy on. So the next one up is the winner. So a winner will use strategies and observation. They strategize by finding out how to solve a problem without getting too emotionally invested in it. And they observe how others do things and how other things work out for those other people to see what they can do themselves. And of course, the top one is enlightenment. When you have reached the very top and you cannot go any higher, this is when you can most certainly manifest anything you want in your life. You can do anything and you will be successful. And I think this is so important and that is definitely what everybody should strive to be. That is what I am striving to be. And I have a long way to go still because it takes so many life experiences to get there. Let me know what part you're at. There's no shame in whatever part you're at. Everybody is on their own life path and eventually you will not be a victim if you are right now. And um, I wish you the best of luck in manifesting and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.